Hi everybody, my name is Maxine Heapy. Welcome to Valley Beach Body. Today we are working on your turnout. Now you might be saying, well Maxine, I'm not a ballet dancer. Why am I working on my turnout? Great question. Are you sitting at your desk for a long time? Are you sitting on an airplane? Are you sitting anywhere at all? Yes. The answer is yes. And so why am I asking you that? Because your hips are tight and this turnout is going to loosen them up. So what I want you to think about this whole time is your legs are going to be looser, they're going to make you feel taller. And now imagine you are twisting a wet towel and all that water is dripping out. Now imagine you're twisting that towel and pulling and elongating that. That's what we're going to do to your legs. So you are going to stand up taller and you are going to have more mobility in your hips. So let's find our natural turnout. Put your feet together, toes facing me, rock back on your heels slightly and just open up your toes. Now you might not have as much turnout as me and that is okay. You might have a smaller little piece of pie as I like to call it, but we're going to work on strengthening it and opening it up more so that your hips are nice and mobile. So we're going to start on the mat. So come on down to the mat with me and we are going to put our feet together. The balls of our feet, heels touching, our hands are grabbing our ankles. So you're going to stand up tall, keep that spine nice and lifted. Now remember to keep that rib cage closed and as always we are wearing a diamond necklace on our chest so show that off shoulders back and down. Now I want you to lean forward slightly. Make sure that your back is flat this entire time. As we lean we're just going to breathe here hold this and you should feel this in your inner thighs and in your glutes. We are stretching all of the surrounding muscles. Now take one hand and press on your knee and that is going to open up your leg and open up your turnout one leg at a time. So take a nice deep inhale and exhale. <sighs> Sitting in there, lengthening that back, getting a little bit further. Okay, now let go and we're going to switch to the other side. And press and hold. Great job. Now, if you're not as turnout as me, that's totally fine. I've been doing this for many years, but you will get there. So take a nice deep inhale. And we exhale. Great job, let go. We're going to do it again on each side, and then we're going to do both hands on both knees at the same time. So inhale, and we exhale. Sinking a little further. Great job. Other side. Press. And we inhale. Exhale. A little bit further. Okay, now both hands on the knees. Sit up nice and straight. Press down on those knees and slowly rock forward. Lean nice and slowly, pressing all the way down. There you go, keeping that back straight. Don't curve that back because you won't get as much benefit and it hurts your back a bit. So inhale and exhale. Now we're just gonna hold it here for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, a little further, two, and one. Let go, release, stay down there with your back, and back to sitting up straight. Great job. Now, we are going to center our legs, so cross one foot over the center. Your other leg is gonna come over the center line as well, heel to knee. Now, this is gonna stretch our glutes, which help with the turnout. We wanna be nice and loose everywhere in the surrounding area so that we can work on that turnout. So sitting here, if you can't get your feet uh, to touch your knee fully and you're up here, that's okay. Just make sure at all times that your spine is straight and lifted, your shoulders are back. We are never hunching over or twisting in any way. So we're gonna sit here for 10, nine, make sure you're breathing, eight, seven, great, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Great job. Now lift that top leg up. Put your foot into your elbow and cross your other elbow to your knee if you can. If you can't, it's okay to have a little bit of a wider grip. And now hug that leg to your chest as much as possible. Now rock very, very slowly and a very small rock side to side. This is waking up that hip joint and just getting a little bit more mobility in there. Great. Now, if you can, lift that heel up so it's a slight diagonal, great, and rock again. There you go. And make sure you're breathing, you're lifted. Your abs are tight here, too. 
They are holding that spine nice and straight. Your shoulders are back, chest is lifted. Great job, everybody. And 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now, cradle the foot and the knee on opposite sides. You're gonna press your knee towards me and bring your ankle towards yourself. Very slight, press and release, great. Press and release. Nice job. Press, release, great. Make sure you're standing straight, sitting straight, excuse me. That spine is up nice and lifted. And just this one hip is moving. Your bottom leg is just sitting there holding your weight and we're just working the mobility of this hip socket. Let's do five and four, great. Three, two, and one. Relax it down. Now we're going to cross the other leg on top. All of that over again. So we start with a nice straight spine. We lean forward and we're going to hold here. If you want to put your arms out to the side, you can. If you want to put them on your feet and knees, that also works. As long as you're breathing and in the correct position. Inhale and we exhale. On every exhale, I want you to sink in a little bit further and get a little bit of a deeper stretch in that glute. So inhale, and we exhale out. One more time, in, and out. Make sure I can hear that exhale. Now, we are going to lift that leg up and cradle it in our elbows or holding in our hands, hugging it towards the chest. It's so like it's your little baby. <laughs> and we are going to rock slightly side to side, side to side. Just little, little movements here. Just opening up that hip, getting it nice and loose. There you go. Nice. And keep breathing this whole time. Your shoulders are down. Let me see that diamond necklace on your chest. There you go. Now, if you can slightly lift this leg up, so it's a diagonal here, flex that foot and we rock again. Side to side, nice job. And make sure you're breathing, inhale and exhale. Every time hugging that leg a little bit closer. There you go, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Now. Cradle the foot and the knee. We're going to press the knee towards me and hug your heel and your foot towards your chest. Now, I want you to keep that foot flexed so that your ankle isn't twisting towards you. Your ankle stays strong. You're just bringing it slightly closer to you. There you go. Little tiny movements. Ever so slight because you don't want to hurt yourself. Don't force this here. There you go. Great job. Keep it going, five and four, great. Three, two, and one, relax it down. Now I want you to get into a V or a side split, however far you can get that's comfortable and not overstretching. And we're going to lean forward. So walk your hands forward, keeping your elbows straight. And as we're here, flex those toes up to the sky you want to make sure that your legs are all the way straight, your knees are straight, you are engaging your thighs and all of the muscles all along your legs. Bellies are in, backs are nice and straight, shoulders are down as always. Flat back forward. Now press here slightly and then back up. Now every time you go down, we're going to get a tiny bit of an arm workout here. But what I want you to focus on is keeping those toes up to the sky because that is your turn out there. There you go. Great job. A little lower, and we press up. Great. Lower and up. Lower and lift. Great. Lower and lift. Now let's cross those arms so we are all the way down on the ground. Leaning forward. Back is straight. Thighs are nice and engaged. Our knees are straight. Our toes are up to the sky. All the way up. Great job. If you want to rock slightly forward and back, forward and back, 
You should feel your hips, your pelvis is just rocking and the hips are opening up slightly. Getting that mobility, waking up all of the muscles, all of the joints. There you go. Keep breathing, keep that chest nice and lifted. Five, four, great. Three, two, and one. Now walk it back up. Bring those legs in, feet together. Now you should feel that your hips are open slightly. You can take a tiny, tiny, tiny baby bounce here. I call this the butterfly flap. Just to feel them now that they are nice and loose. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna come onto our stomach. Our feet are gonna be in the same position, but we'll be on our stomach. So I'm gonna flip to the side so you can see me. Now, keep your chest lifted slightly. I want you to flex your feet up so that you can see how far your heels are from touching the ground. The goal here is to have our knees and our heels touching the ground. So I have a couple of inches to go. How about you guys? Take a look back there, assess it. Okay, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna press one heel at a time down to the ground so that it touches and feels what it feels like to be fully turned out because the goal is to have both heels and both knees touching the ground at the same time. So press one and now we're gonna switch to the other side, slowly passing through the middle. There you go. And that's okay if your foot is up here or up here or wherever it is. Everybody's hips are different and they need to adjust on their own. So pass through center. As you pass through, brush those heels together. There you go. So you can feel them. Each time we should be getting a little bit lower to the ground and a little bit closer to that turnout. Great, and hold. And brush through. Nice job. And hold, make sure those feet are flexed. Make sure that your shoulders are down and back. And we are just passing through ever so gently. Great job. <sighs> Breathing. Nice. A few more times here. And try now on this one to bring that foot, the top foot down to meet in the middle. There you go. Really think of it meeting in the middle there. Great job. Okay, and switch. Nice. Okay, two more. One, there you go, and two. Great, now meet in the middle, and you want to press down. Now pre think of pressing those heels down to the ground. If you need to close your eyes, go ahead and exhale as you're pressing down. So inhale, lift up slightly and press down. Great, inhale, and press down. And now just relax here. Great, your heels should just be sinking closer to the ground. Great. Holding, holding, holding. Just nice and relaxed, deep breath in. And exhale out. Okay, great, now stretch those legs together and back. You're gonna press on up because we're gonna flip onto our backs and do a similar thing. So I'm gonna just move my mic back to the side and come on down to the mat. Here we go. Now, from stretched out, we're gonna flex those feet and plie, a nice grand plie. Imagine you are sitting in your grand plie right now. So the heels are slightly up. We are on the balls of our feet. Don't dro droop your heels down, press them up. So we are turned out from the feet and from the hips. Hands on your thighs, just to give a slight weight. Don't press hard, just to feel the weight of your hands on your legs there. Great job. Holding here, deep inhale. And we exhale. As we exhale, we should be relaxing into that position. Also, the, that rib cage should close nice and tight on that exhale. So inhale, eyes to the sky, and exhale. Great. Now walk your hands, if you can, a little bit closer to the knees. I can't fully touch my knees unless I sit up, but I want you to relax that head and those shoulders back to the mat. The shoulders should be nice and open. Now walk your hands as far as you can and just give a soft press to that turn out. Great. And lift up and touch down and press it open slightly. Great. Lift up, touch down 
and slightly pressing down. Great job. Lift up, touch down, slightly press. Great. Now let's just hold here in this little press. Inhale, and we exhale. Nice. Okay, bring those legs together. Ooh, you should feel that in your inner thighs. Shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. Lift your leg up, shake it. Other leg, give it a nice little shake, a little rest. This time I want you to keep your heels together and on the ground. So remember last time we were on the balls of our feet with no droopy ankles. Now we have our ankles and our pinky toes on the mat. Now in this position, you should feel that your turn out is slightly further. Okay, that's because we are in a slightly different position with the feet. So take a nice deep inhale and we exhale. Pressing our lower back to the mat, try to squeeze your hand underneath there. Great, engaging those abs. And we're just gonna relax here. Put your hands either on your thighs or close to your knees wherever is most comfortable for you. I'm gonna rest them on my thighs just to give an extra little bit of weight there. Great, inhale and we exhale. Three more times, inhale and exhale. Nice, two more. Last one and out. Nice, okay, stretch those legs out and down. Woo, feel those inner thighs. Now flex your feet, we're in a first position here. Our hips are nice and square, our back is to the mat. Don't arch up, keeping that rib cage closed, pressing down, belly button to the spine. Your knees are gonna be straight and what I want you to do is lift one leg up and then cross it and place it back down. So lift and then cross place it down. Now this time, lift and cross at the same time. So lift and cross and down. Great. Lift and cross and down. Now what this is doing, keep going, what this is doing is you're activating that inner thigh as you cross over, which is what helps in your turnout. Lift and cross and down. Heel forward, lift and cross and down. The reason for the flex is so that you can keep an eye on your turnout. So your heel should be up, your toes should be back, you want to imagine that you are serving a platter of, let's say they're drinks because you don't want those to spill, do you? So you're serving these drinks and you don't want them to spill and that is your turnout. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I can feel my muscles slightly shaking as I do that cross. That is a good sign, that means you're working. A few more here, four and three, great. And two and one. Okay, now lift it up just straight. Lift it, now bend it slightly. As you bend, turn it out more. Press it out and lower. Great. Lift and bend it and press it out and lower down and up. Bend and turn out. Now, while you're turning out, you should feel your inner thigh working. You should feel your glute wrapping around. Remember that wet towel that we're twisting and pulling? That's exactly what we're doing here on that press. Press, twist, and lower. Great up and in, press, twist it, and down. Great job. Up, in, press, twist, and down. Let's do another set of eight. Here we go, come on. Press, and seven, come on. Press it, down, and six. Really exhale on that press. Come on, you guys. Three, come on, press, and two more, out, one more, out, down, relax, great. Shake those legs out. All right, right away we're going to the other side, so lift it, feel that cross, back to center, down. Lift, feel that cross, center, and down. Now lift and cross, lift and cross, there we go cross it. Now, let me see those heels. So this side for me, maybe for you guys too, isn't quite as turned out and that's okay. We're gonna get it to match the other side. I'm feeling that inner thigh burning. It's that ballet beach body burn that we all have come to know and love, right? Yes, okay, Whew. exhale. Now make sure as always the belly button is to the spine. We are pressing our back to the mat 
We have our abs nice and engaged. Those shoulders are back and down. We are wearing a beautiful diamond necklace on our chest to show it off to the world as we cross. There you go. Lift and cross on that diagonal. And don't drop that tray of drinks, everybody. Come on. Where's that heel? Up. Lift it up. Heels up, toes back. Come on. A few more. Let's go. Eight. Eight. Great. Seven. Come on. Six. And five. Almost there. Four. And three. Two more. Two. And one. Down. Relax for a moment. And now we come up. We bend it. We press it. And down. Great job. Up. Flex. Bend it. Press it and down. On that press, you have that towel that you're pressing, wringing that out. Great. Come on. Up. Press. Right there. Come on. Up. You can do it. Just a few more here, everybody. Those hips should be nice and loose and mobile. Your inner thighs should be on fire. I know that mine are. So also, make sure that your bottom foot, the standing foot, as we would call it, is also turning out, flexed as well. So keep both legs flexed, pressing, pressing that out as we exhale, press it. All right, let's go. Eight more. Here we go. Seven. Come on. And six. Press it. Five. There you go. Four. Come on. Three, we're really fatiguing the muscles here today. Great job, everybody. Three, come on. Finish big, finish strong. Two and one. Last one, out, down. Don't relax yet, keep those knees straight. Feet are flexed and pressing out. Hold, hold, hold. That turn out, squeezing from the glute. Think that your legs are those towels. They're twisting and wringing out and lengthening all the way up to the top of your head, you should feel long and strong right there, keeping those ribs closed. I just want you to hold this position, close your eyes, take a nice deep inhale, and exhale, squeeze harder. Now we inhale again, and we exhale, and now relax those toes, ankles, knees, thighs, glutes, abs, shoulders, head. Great, take a nice deep inhale. And exhale. And open those eyes and come and sit up. Great job, everybody. You just killed it today. I'm so proud of you. Welcome to 2017. We are going to crush this year. We're going to all have our ballet beach body bodies, ballet beach bodies ready to go. Because you know what they say, summer bodies are made in the winter. Thank you so much for working out with me today, you guys. My name is Maxine Hippie here at Ballet Beach Body. I will see you, my ballet babes, at the next company class. Give this video a thumbs up. Leave me some comments below because I read all of them. Share this link with your friends so that we can all get our turnout together and hit that subscribe button so that you never miss a workout with me. Blah, blah, blah. Here's a blooper for you. Blah. <laughs>